Hi, and welcome to the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton. Everyone is invited to the annual Public Safety Fair this Saturday, sponsored by the Estes Park Police Department. This fun family event takes place from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the fairgrounds at Stanley Park. Estes Park police officers will be serving free hamburgers, hot dogs, snacks, and beverages donated by local businesses, and at the event, more than 20 regional public safety agencies will come together bringing equipment and apparatus ranging from a bomb robot and fire trucks to medical helicopters, dive rescue equipment, police dogs, and more. Salud Family Health Center will be giving away youth bicycle helmets and families can pick up a free water bottle and kids can register to win one of four bikes to be given away at 1 p.m. Don't miss this fun safety fair. Elk are present in our community year-round. Most often, they are very passive and casually walk throughout our community. However, during elk calving season, their attitude can change greatly. Cow elk are very protective of their calves and potential conflicts with humans are possible. The Lake Estes Trail is a popular location for elk calving, especially the area near the bird sanctuary and behind the fire department in the Cherokee Draw area. Cow elk perceive humans as predators to their newborn calves and protective elk will charge humans and can inflict serious injuries. The highest concentration of conflicts between elk and trail users usually takes place between May 15th and June 15th when most elk calves are born. The Estes Valley Rec and Park District has increased signage and are now utilizing a volunteer wildlife safety team on the lake trail to provide education and warnings to trail users. The Rec District reminds everyone to take alternate routes for your nature walks, commutes, and workouts when the trail is closed. Please remember that elk are wild animals and keeping a safe distance from these animals is the right and sensible thing to do. If you see a protective female elk in a public area with the potential to endanger people, please call the Estes Park Police Department at 586-4000 or if it's an emergency, call 911. The Estes Park Repertory Theater Company is pleased to present the hit play, Laura, featuring an excellent cast of veterans and newcomers who bring this murder mystery to life for an evening of classic entertainment. The show opened last weekend to rave reviews and sold out shows. Remaining shows will be presented at the Studio Theater in the Estes Park Masonic Lodge Friday and Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. Tickets are available at McDonald Bookshop in downtown Estes Park or at the door on the night of the performance. Come and enjoy an evening of suspense, fun, and murder. And now here's Chloe Libby with a look at your weekend weather forecast. It looks like we've got another soggy weekend on tap. On Friday, we've got an 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms with highs in the low 50s. On Saturday, we've still got 80% chance of rain and afternoon thunderstorms with temps in the mid 50s. On Sunday, more rain, but showers will be widely scattered and we could see a few peaks of sunshine here and there. Early next week, we will return to a warmer and drier pattern over our area, but we've got another chance for thunderstorms moving in again on Tuesday. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton. Have a great weekend and we'll see you right back here next week.